In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure to retrofit your vehicle's air conditioning system from R12 to 134A and recharge the system. In this step, we're going to talk about locating of the low pressure service port and changing of the fitting on your vehicle's AC system. The low pressure service point port on this particular vehicle is located right here. The way to identify where it's going to be at is it will be between the AC evaporator, which is this component, and the compressor. The compressor is located right here. Now, just the kind of geographical location of where it is does not matter. What you're going to want to follow is the line itself. This line comes out of the evaporator, down into the receiver dryer, and comes back out of the receiver dryer and runs to the compressor. As you can see, that indicates this as my low side or suction side service port. Unscrew the cap and discard it. This cap will no longer be used. It won't fit on our new fitting. We're going to take and clean these threads up with some rubbing alcohol. You're going to want to use a solvent of some kind. I prefer rubbing alcohol for this kind of fitting because it leaves no greasy residue at all. Just get a dab of it on there, like so, and wipe around the threads. If your threads are extremely corroded, you're going to want to use a wire brush or possibly some sandpaper to get that corrosion out. What our fitting has on it is a permanent thread lock and sealant. If you look inside the fitting, you can actually see there's some pink stuff inside there. That is your thread lock and sealant. You're going to want to take your longest fitting, and I have three to choose from. You're going to want to take your longest fitting and screw that onto the low side suction port. It's going to feel a little gooey as you tighten it down just due to that thread lock and sealant that you're squeezing through. Once this fitting is installed and it sets and cures, it is a permanent fitting. You do not want to try and remove this again due to the fact that gross damage to the receiver dryer or the fitting will occur. That is the proper way to locate your low side fitting and replace it with your retrofit fitting. 